Hello guys, it's Rushing by Nature and today I have a video for you how to choose a power supply for your computer. If you're buying a new one or uh, trying to upgrade an older one, uh, the power supply is one of the most important components uh, in your computer and with this video I will help you to choose the right one. Uh, ta -ta -ta. Uh, first of all, what we will need to, to choose the power supply is to actually calculate how many watts uh, the power supply uh, has to be. Of course, uh, as I said before, the power supply should be the last choice you make when you're assembling a new computer uh, because this way you will know every single component and with that we can calculate the amount of watts uh, the, 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 the computer will need. Of course, we are going to use a uh, calculator for this. If you go to uh, Google, just type PCU calculators and oops, sorry, PCU calculators, and we are going to use the first result actually. It's extreme power supply calculator. I've been using this for a while now, and uh, it's a good one. So I'm recommending it uh, just to be just to use it. Um, I will go through every single field in this PC calculator. I will use my uh, computer as a reference. This way I will know that at the end we have a working uh, station. Uh, so let's go with the first one. It's the first one. The first field is uh, how many CPUs you have in your computer. In our case it's just one CPU. Then the, you have to choose the motherboard. It's just a regular motherboard. But you, can, you can choose whatever you, uh, you have. Uh, then you, you can you should choose the CPU brand it's a self-explanatory I will choose Intel then you should choose the CPU socket in my case it's LGA 1150 then the CPU itself in the next field the CPU itself I think mine is I don't think I know that mine is i7 4770k as well yeah the next field is the CPU utilization uh, the recommended value is 90% and I recommend to actually leave it like that as a default value but you can choose 100% uh, this field will tell the, uh, the calculator to calculate how many watts uh, how many uh, watts the, the CPU will need when it's uh, loaded at 100% since none of the none of the applications that you're going to use will uh, actually need 100% uh, CPU load, we are going to use the recommended value. The next field is if you're planning to overclock uh, your CPU, you should check that. And you have four fields. The first two are already uh, filled in by default. It's the stock values of the of your CPU that you've already chosen. In my case, it's uh, 3500 megahertz and the voltage of the of the CPU itself. So in the future, I plan to overclock it. I just wish I could, I can, I can reach such values. But I plan to overclock it to 4,500 megahertz. And the the V core, let's say, I will try to to stay stable at 1.25. And then just click overclock. And in this field, you will see how many watts the the overclocked CPU will need. The next field is just uh, the memory uh, that you will have in your CPU uh, in, in your computer. Sorry, uh, what you need to do to do is select how many sticks of memory you will have. Just scroll down to see DDR3. In my case, I have two sticks of DDR3. It doesn't matter how how much memory you have, just the amounts of sticks that you're going to have in your computer. Uh, the next field is the video brand. In my case, is EMD and the next one is the model of the video card itself uh, you should find uh, yours in my case i think yeah i know it's a 920 uh, 2080x um, the other fields i will leave empty but i will come back uh, to them later because i'll explain something else the next fields are the hard drives that you're going to have in your computer in my case i have uh, one regular uh, a SATA hard drive and the next ones are the, the, the next fields are for additional drives that you already have uh, I have a uh, DVD writer so choose one 
and we don't have any more fields here but we have to fill uh, the second column it's um, the first one is SSD drive I have one, one flash SSD drive so I should choose one I don't have any PCI card so I will leave all those uh, fields empty uh, I don't have any additional PCI cards uh, but I have one additional PCI Express card it's an X1 uh, PCI Express card it's, it's actually a creative sound card um, in the next field you should enter the amount of USB drives that you're going to use of course uh, this is the you should calculate how many uh, drives you have for example keyboard mouse um, anything else that you're going to use in my case I have a keyboard mouse uh, USB microphone uh, uh, gamepad USB so let's say four four drives four devices sorry um, it doesn't matter because it's just couple of uh, watts uh, that we will increase or decrease with those uh, those values the next things are fan controllers that I don't have code cathodes that I don't have uh, but I have a couple of uh, fans on my computer on my case uh, regular ones I have uh, a couple of uh, high performance fans which one one of it's it's on the case the other one is on the CPU uh, TXT TLC coolers. Um, I will come back to this later, but I don't have for now any water cooling. This is to uh, close loop water cooling, but this uh, the other uh, the other uh, fields are when you have um, DIY uh, water cooling. The other ones. So after water cooling, we have a system load. Again, we are going back as the CPU load. If you remember CPU utilization, this is the system load. How many percentage of the uh, of the system uh, will the calculator calculate? Um, in this case, we have 90% uh, as recommended. I recommend to actually leave it like that because you will not you will, you will not use 100% of every single component at one moment. So it's uh, it's re irrelevant uh, capacitor aging just leave it like that it's not uh, in, it's not will be covered in this review and after we entered all the f all the fields here we should hit calculate when you hit calculate at the end you will receive here or down here you will receive the result that you are going to need the minimum PCO wattage is 433 watts but the recommended PC wattage is 483 watts. In my case, I should buy a 500 watts PCU just to, uh, just to uh, uh, actually power all the components that I have. So, of course, my recommendation is go higher than this value in red. If you need around 500, just go with 600. I will tell you from my personal experience that in the future you will uh, plan probably you won't know at this moment but in the future you will put another card or something else that will draw power from your CPU and you will need more power so uh, as I did in the past I have both a 550 uh, uh, watts power supply and at one point it was not enough so I had to sell it and buy a bigger one which was not very good for my budget of course as I mentioned before I will go back to uh, some stuff that I missed but not not missed but actually I should uh, have added before I decide how many watts I will need uh, I will enter uh, some more stuff in those fields that I'm planning to actually buy in the future in my case I'm in the future I try I'm planning to buy a second video card so I'll choose a second video card which should be the same as my old one my, my current one and I will choose the video type of uh, uh, of the connectivity itself it's a crossfire when you have an AMD card it's a crossfire when you have an NVIDIA card it's a SLI in my case it's a crossfire the other thing that I plan to do is to add an, an additional uh, hard, uh, hard drive because uh, this one is not needed uh, it's not enough for my case uh, what I plan to actually do is to add uh, uh, a capture card, which is PCI Express, uh, as far as I remember. So I, I should increase this this thing to two cards. 
and da, 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 then I w I'm planning to actually buy a closed loop water cooling for my CPU so I will choose one of those uh, it doesn't really matter because th those this list is not very uh, full with all the brands that you can uh, actually need I will choose just the first one uh, as a reference uh, th 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 so but I will remove those two fans because when I have a uh, um, uh, this uh, water cooling I won't need those two fans and I will just hit calculate so as you can see right now the the needed uh, watts are increased a lot so the recommended value is 729 watts and you should buy at least 750 watts in this case if you, if you need it uh, I bought uh, 850 watts just to be sure that future upgrades uh, will be covered so this is the the calculator itself so I hope that I have explained it I will tell you a couple of more words about the power supply uh, the power su the different types of power supply that you can choose uh, we have actually three different types of power supply uh, first we have the mm, uh, fully modular power supply as you can see there are no cables hanging out of this power supply and every single cable that uh, that can be connected to the uh, to the power supply are separated uh, separate uh, actually separately and uh, you will only need uh, you only um, connect only the the cables that you are going to need uh, for example of course you are going to need the 12 pin uh, motherboard uh, cable and the 8 pin uh, CPU cable but for example you only need one SATA cable or, or, or two SATA cables and one PCI Express cable for your video card and the other ones just uh, the other ports will be left empty this way you can uh, have a very good uh, cable management job in your case uh, but of course those power supplies are more expensive the other one actually the first one that I should have uh, shown you is the non-modular power supply as you can see all the cables here are connected to the to the power supply and there are no ports to insert new ones or to remove ones every single um, every single uh, cable that uh, the power supply uh, have is already connected uh, this way you will have all your cables there but uh, of course it's a very hard to, to make a cable management in your uh, in your uh, computer uh, because probably you need you need half of those cables uh, the third option is the semi modular power supply as you can see you have here always connected the 12 pin uh, motherboard cable and the 8 pin cpu cable this those two cables are actually always needed so you, you have them uh, already connected to the power supply unit and you have uh, ports for uh, PCI Express, for SATA cables and so on and so on of course uh, if you only need one PCI Express and one SATA cable you only connect those two so which one you should choose it doesn't matter actually it matters uh, what kind of budget you have if you have the budget just buy fully modular supply I recommend to go with the semi-modular power supply but because you will always need the two cables for the motherboard and the, for the CPU um, but of course uh, it's more neat to look your uh, case when you have a fully modular power supply because the cable management is a lot better uh, the last uh, topic about power supplies that I'm going to cover is one of the uh, is the certificates uh, power supplies are certificated uh, for efficiency uh, expensive power supplies uh, can be um, actually more uh, uh, more efficient than more cheaper one what I mean by that is that if you buy for example 100 watts power supply uh, by two brands one of it may actually draw less power from your socket than the other one um, here comes the actually the um, the certificates themselves we have one two three four five six certificates actually it's a one certificate which at one point just uh, was split in uh, five categories 
the certificate is called 80 plus and we have 80 plus bronze silver gold platinum and titanium if you have the budget go with the, the later one if you don't have the budget if you uh, if you choose 80 plus it doesn't really matter we are talking about mm, a couple of uh, or couple of uh, hundred um, watts if you go with uh, 1000 watts power supply or something like that, that will be drawn more from your uh, socket but it's just about efficiency those certificates doesn't mean that your power supply is less powerful or powerful than the other one uh, just to let you know i've seen reviews that if you buy a power supply which is uh, 800 watts when it's fully loaded you can go for um, you can actually uh, carry load up to 900 watts even though it says 800 watts there is a peak value that you can reach with that power supply it's not recommended but uh, good power supplies can go more than they are actually specified in and uh, i think that's about I've covered everything I know about power supply and I hope it was informative for you. If you like this video, please uh, leave a rating and I can wish you a nice day.